everyone uh, this is the last video for the topic of vectors in this video we'll just be going through examples we have done a lot of examples in previous videos as, as also but in this vi video i'll basically be going to towards the questions which come on basically wide range of topics uh, and then how to solve them uh, using what we have learned in the other videos for vectors so let me start uh, so the first question that i want to discuss is if abc abc are three non zero non coplanar vectors if a b c are non zero zero non coplanar vectors such that p q r R equal to a plus b minus two c. A plus b minus two c. Three a minus two b plus c. A minus four b plus two c. Then what is the value of uh, what is p q if p q what is x if p q r is x times a b c? So the reason I wanted to do this question is because we have we have not discussed this before. But if there are three non-coplanar vectors, basically three vectors which are non-coplanar, then C vectors are non-coplanar. Then you can define the any vector, any possible vector as a linear combination of these three non-coplanar vectors. So you should know this. I have not discussed this explicitly before in any of the videos. But if there are three non-coplanar vectors, you can define any vector as the linear combination of these three vectors, which are being done here. So these three vectors are vectors which are linear combination of A, B, and C. And the way you can find P, Q, R. Is actually treating them as i j k. So like i j k are three non-coplanar vectors, right? I cap, j cap, k cap are three non-coplanar vectors. Similarly, a b c are three non-coplanar vectors. Just that they are not perpendicular to each other, may or may not be. But the way you have to think about them is that you will just write the coefficients down, treat these this the, these as the coefficients like in terms of i j k. However, at the end, so you should remember this as the formula that this you will write as one one minus two. Three minus two one, one minus four two, and then you will just multiply this by A B C to get the answer. So this is more like I just wanted to do. I wanted to do a problem which can hopefully you will make remember this sort of how as a formula of if there are three non-coplanar vectors, any vector can be written as a linear combination of those vectors, and then you can expand it to get the answer. And if you expand it, I am not going through the details, but if you expand expand it. This should come out as 15 ABC. Let's check. This will be minus 4 plus 4. This will go to 0, 1, minus 5, and yes, this will come out to be 15 ABC. So, if there is, if you make a combination such that determinant is 0, then th that might. I can also make this problem as like if P Q R ABC are non-coplanar vectors. And I put some lambdas here, and then I ask you what is the value of lambda such that P Q R non -co are coplanar. Then you will just solve the determinant and force it to be zero because this cannot be zero because A B C are non-coplanar vectors. So uh, that is more of the idea behind such problems that you should remember this as a formula that if there are three non-coplanar vectors, then the scalar triple product of some linear combination of those vectors can be found out using this relation into A B C. So this was not done previously, and I just wanted to give you an example so that if something like this comes up, you know how to solve this problem. And if you don't know how to solve this problem, it is probably impossible to like, derive this during the uh, exam. Uh, second problem, which is also something we have not discussed yet, uh, is that find the angle bisector of. I plus three j minus two k. And three i plus j minus two k. So. 
so this is also more of like a property that i wanted to discuss a small question if comes sometimes and if you're not aware of the property it is hard to get find the answer so angle bisector of of vectors a and b a and b is given by a cap plus b cap so let me write this as x cap x cap i am just writing the unit vector but basically you take unit vectors and add the vectors uh, and i want you to do this problem on your own and then check so check that x cap dot a cap is equal to x cap dot b cap right because that should be always the case that x cap dot a cap should be equal to x cap dot b cap because the angle is the same so you should do this problem on your own i have just given you value so this treat this as a and this as b find a cap b cap and then find x cap and then check x cap dot a cap is equal to x cap dot b cap okay again this was an example for how for you, how you to solve a problem of angle bisector and i am not going through the mathematical details of this problem but i hope you can understand and appreciate how to solve these problems let us do a very common problem which i think comes all the time uh, in 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 j problems is a problem related to scalar triple products and that is a dot b cross c what is find the value of a dot b cross c is uh, divided by b dot c cross a plus b cross c dot a divided by c dot a cross b plus c dot a cross b divided by b dot a cross c okay so this problem can take almost or just 10 seconds to solve just that you have to be careful and knowing how to solve this problem so we have discussed dot and cross do not matter in in a scalar triple product because you can flip dot and cross so we do shouldn't matter by dot cross where the position is only thing matters is the cycle so this is abc cycle abc abc this is also abc so this is divided by abc added with abc abc so this is also a cycle seems to be abc abc here plus abc and the numerator and then acb in the denominator so here is where the, the cycle changes and this is minus abc because it is my acb so that is that was the entire problem so 1 plus 1 minus 1 and that the answer is 1 so this can be I, i hope that you can understand that this is again a easy problem but you should just remember the properties we have discussed in scalar triple product at length to really understand how to solve these problems okay next question is we have been told fourth problem is r dot a is 0 r cross b mod is mod r mod b right and that r cross c mod is mod r mod c and we have been asked to find the value of a b and c find the find scalar triple product of a b and c okay so there is a vector r for which we have been given some properties what does this mean this means r is it should flash r is perpendicular to a vector right this is what it means then r cross b mod is mod r mod b sin theta and in this case sin theta is 
which means theta is 90. So, r is perpendicular to b and then r is also perpendicular to c. So, how is this possible? A vector is perpendicular to all the three vectors, a single vector is perpendicular to all the three vectors. That means the vectors have to lie in the same plane. That is the only possible way. How else can one vector be perpendicular to three vectors? So, that is the only if the vectors are non coplanar, then if and as soon as this goes out of the plane, this vector will not be perpendicular to that. So, all the vectors perpendicular to R will have to lie in one plane and hence A, B, C are coplanar or A, B, C is equal to 0. Very easy problem, but it requires understanding and interpretation very quickly. R is perpendicular to B, R is perpendicular to C, R is perpendicular to A. If, a vector, if three vectors are perpendicular to the same vector, they have to be coplanar. So, I hope, I hope, I hope that this, this is, you are following the way we are doing the problems, okay. Now, we have been told that uh, A cross, a, 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 uh, a cap cross B cap cross C cap is equal to B plus C by square root of 2. Find the angle between between A cap and B cap. So, there are two things. Angle, you have to find the angle and angle should flash the word angle should flash dot product. We have discussed this many times and we know how to open up a vector table product. You take dot with the outside one. So, this is A dot C into B minus A dot B into C, C cap is equal to B plus C cap by square root of 2, right, which means implies that A cap dot B cap because this is what you are interested in finding is equal to minus 1 by root 2 and is equal to cos theta that means theta is equal to 3 pi by 4 ok. So, that was also one question I wanted to do. So, this way we have combined dot product and vector double product. Here we discuss the physical ability uh, physical understanding of doing a problem and here we discuss some properties which we have discussed and these are the two questions I wanted to discuss about sort of you should know as rule uh, of how to solve them. So, I hope that this video was useful. Uh, we have basically ended the uh, topic of vectors. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the uh, topic. We have covered a wide range of topics and we have given you good uh, number of examples to solve problems for JE. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed the whole series of vectors uh, and hope to see you in other, other chapters as well. Thank you.